if the 21st century is to be any less deadly than the 20th, witnesses must stand up and speak out. Senses of justice must become more acute. The appreciation for the fragility of life must become deeper. We must become, as a global community, more caring and compassionate. This will not happen without witnesses. The hope of our gospel, our important news, will take us to unknown places. For some, it has taken them to the ends of the earth, others to the edge of their hearts. For Reverend Samuel Kyles, who was present when MLK died, had been putting one more foot in front of the other. For Fannie Lou Hamer, had been forming the National Women's Political Caucus in 1971 and speaking for the inclusion of racial issues in the feminist agenda. Our greatest witness is not that we are timid, but that in the darkness, in the middle of chaos, when there is no hope, we hear each other. We hear and we act. That we did not wait, but knew that the story was no longer a tale, but a call for action. And who will tell your story? What story are you proclaiming? As we proclaim, we must realize that this has not always been a fair game. And even as the witness tells of Jesus' death, the Roman Empire looms over the early Christian world. But we don't even need to look into the Bible for those stories that have been overlooked. Why, we don't even need to look past yesterday to hear stories to which a deaf ear has been turned. To proclaim, we must listen. It can be hard to hear the stories of those that suffer, and many suffer from the ailment called shame. Their burden is one that they did not choose. Their burden is one placed upon them by those that could not even listen even to themselves. But you have heard a story of a man who hung up on a cross. He was born to a young woman, unmarried parents, and challenged the status quo. Shame was the game for those around him. Yet for our obscure, no name, out of the blue, run of the mill, Jack or Jill, all trades, quickly fading, never digressing witness, the gospel that was told was love. A new way of relating had come. No longer did we have to control through shame, but we could liberate through love. The image of the wreath hanging from the balcony remains fresh in my mind to this day. But the Lorraine Motel cannot contain all that is a dream, and neither can a cross on a hill. For the dream is within me and within you. Yes, you can crucify the dreamer, but you cannot crucify the dream. Amen.